Hello, my name is Elir. I'm the owner of Freedom Tech, the repair shop in Holland. Today I'm uh, going to do the second video for the Apple MacBook Pro that gets stuck on a loading option. In this case, this is an uh, A1708 Retina display. Um, my previous video, I showed how the system fails to boot. In this case, you can see, and you get this message, or probably you don't get a message at all that just uh, the Apple logo is just going to get stuck in there. So I'm going to redo it again just so I can give uh, answers to the people that were either not able to make it or they just need to know how to do it. So first thing first, turn off the computer like that. So you wait until it turns on, off, and then turn it on. So I'm going to say it before I do it, turn it on. And then while the computer is turned on, hold command R and just keep them pressed together until the next screen comes up. Again, command R, don't forget. Just like that. So you keep it tight. Until you come across, this line usually goes faster once you have them on. So you'll see going across, but don't let go. So you keep Command R uh, together until the white line goes through until the next screen shows up. It might take a few seconds or a minute, depends on uh, uh, whatever the issue is. And you can see right on the corner, there is, a, or maybe not, but the arrow shows that the uh, system is uh, loading up. Just hold Command R, be patient on it until you see the next screen. Just keep holding. This is live, so I'm doing as as you can see it. So I'm not prepared, or this is not prepared. So, and there you go. So that's, that's where your next options is. And from here, if you decide to load operating system, but this, this, in this case, when the unit does not load, that means either the system has failed or the uh, hard drive has failed. So to find out, go back to disk utility and then you can see if the hard drive is available, in this case, you will see there is, uh, it's about 90 gig free, but I would have to reset this one. Basically, I would erase the hard drive. And then once it's erased, then I can easily reinstall, but I would probably do a particular.